and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. currently in my car i just went to go get chipotle trying not to cry and i just wanted to to update you guys so there's just been so much going on and me and jake are very easy going we're up to all these like different options that everybody's been pitching to us and then we'll put like all of our energy into these options everyone's been preaching you know it's your guys's day it's about you too like that's all that matters it's your guys's day it's your guys's day but then like once we make a decision and tell everybody then it somehow becomes about everybody else just kind of very annoying and then like at this point like i just don't even care like i could care less where we get married literally i mean that's just kind of my feelings right now who knows i may feel totally different in a few days but for the past like few days especially last night i literally just cried my eyes out and was just it's just hard trying to plan a wedding for like family yeah i don't know I don't know we may just elope at this point because it's just so stupid and i know this is just me ranting and i'll probably feel different in like a little bit but yeah that's just what's going on that's what's that's why i haven't updated anybody um i mean i don't even want to give you guys like the updates on like what we were thinking and what we were wanting because i guess it just doesn't even matter <laughs> so anyways yeah I've definitely not been one of those girls that's, like, playing my wedding since I was, like, four or anything like that. But at the same time, like, I want, like, a dream wedding. Like, you know, my dream wedding. And, you know, what I've been envisioning and picturing. And then when people tell me, like, basically, they're not going to come if I want, if we do this. Maybe because people think or they know that we're people pleasers. I don't really know. Freaking sucks. But I do want to say... My family has really helped me with like decorations for like our wedding shower and stuff like that. Just really no tea to anybody, but it just, it, I'm just expressing myself basically. I feel like I sound like a spoiled brat and maybe that's the case and I just need to reevaluate myself. But I'm just, I told you guys I would be documenting every process, the good, the bad, the ugly, all in between. And that's just kind of what I'm feeling right now. And I guess I am feeling like maybe like a bridezilla. I don't even know. Me and Jake both agreed on what we wanted and it's just not gonna happen so at this point like i said i could i literally couldn't care less i just don't care from from now on and our dream wedding wasn't it's nothing crazy like it's the cheapest option so i thought everybody would be down for it but yeah i don't know anyways i'm gonna go inside now and maybe go to the gym cheers <laughs> Hello everyone. I have a totally new, different perspective and outlook on this whole situation. Last night I was just, I don't know, I just was so overwhelmed and stressed. I asked Jake to pray over me and just so amazing. I feel so much better. I think we're making the right decision by staying home, staying local, supporting local businesses, having our family there. And I think that was like what was most important to us too. I think we were caught up on like the fairy tale idea of doing a destination wedding and having everybody there, but that's just like not possible, especially with like the older people in our family. At the end of the day, like we just want our people and our family there. Yeah, we're staying local, we're staying home and I think it's gonna be so much fun. I really am so excited. I think it'll be more, maybe not more intimate, but more more special maybe. You know, doing it in my pretty much hometown and all that. So anyways, yes, I feel so much better, so much happier. And now I'm actually on my way to go look at wedding bands. I'm meeting Jake, he just left work. I'm gonna go look at wedding bands, y'all. This is getting real. flower girl at my wedding will you be my flower girl at the wedding no see you there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to throw petals flowers on the ground for me you gotta wear a pretty dress do you want to be the flower girl yeah 
<laughs> Show her what the flower girl does. See if I've got one on the What is it? I'm ready. You ready? ready? Yeah. She's ready. Do you like being the flower girl now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Downtown, 